Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be solving the question 21 from the first chapter of the Brian Johnson textbook, Mechanics of Materials. And we have a 4 kilonewton axial load that is applied to a short wooden post that is supported by a concrete footing resting on undistributed soil. And the question has two different parts. The first part, we have to find the maximum bearing stress on the concrete footing. And in the B part, we have to find the size of the footing for which the average bearing stress in the soil is 145 kilopascal. So what we are interested in this question is finding the bearing stress on the concrete, which will be our force over our area. The force that we have in here is the force P and we have to find the area as well. So let's start with the A part of the question where we need to find the maximum bearing stress on the concrete footing. So this is our concrete footing and, and we're going to have this part that is experiencing the bearing stress. So the force that we have is P. So the P is 4 kilo newtons and the area that we have is the area of that squared that I'm shading it so one side is 120 and the other side is 100 millimeters so 120 times 100 millimeter we're gonna do 10 to the minus 6 in order to get it in meter squared and in order to get our numerator in newton basically have 40 times 10 to the 3 newton over and in the denominator we can cancel out the zeros in here with the 10 to the minus 3 so this can be written as 12 times 10 to the minus 3 meter squared now so we can write this down as 40 divided by 12 times 10 to the 6 let's just divide 40 by 12 that's going to be 3.33 in pascal or 3.33 mega pascal so that's the answer for the a part of the question where we need to find the maximum bearing stress on the concrete footing which would be the area that we have so in the b part we have to find the size of the footing for which the average bearing stress in the soil is 145 so now we have to find the average bearing stress in the soil so we are talking about what's underneath the gray concrete this is square in here which would be the interface of the soil and the concrete so we have different area in here and that would be the cross section that i'm uh, showing in black and we have a square this time each side is b and the given is the bearing stress in the soil 145 kilopascal and we have the same thing we have the force which is the same force p that we have p over the area of the soil we can show it with as and here we know our p is 4 again times 10 to the 3 in order to get it in newton and we have to find the area of the soil so basically our as which we can figure it out we have a square with the side of b which will be b squared and this will be equal to p over stress so the p is 40 kilo and again 40 times 10 to the 3 over the 145 times 10 to the 3 in order to get it in pascal that way we can get our b squared in meter squared or our area in meter squared so we can cancel out the 10 to the 3 and basically have 40 divided by 145 and here our b squared will be 0.275 b would be the square root of what we found so what we're gonna get for b is 0.525 meter or it will be 525 millimeter and that's going to be the answer for the b part of the question i uh, hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any question we're covering different textbooks in this channel feel free to check out the playlist let me know if you have any specific problem in your mind then we can cover it in the next videos and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one